We need no introduction. You know what's happening today. <laughs> Let's head to Waco. I am so craving Magnolia. We are here and I am parked right in front. I have never parked this close before. It's a good sign. It was a last minute decision, like morning of decision to take this quick road trip. So I had a little bit of work that I needed to finish up. So I went into the coffee shop first to get that done, but I absolutely love working in different environments. So this didn't really feel like work. So I don't know if you can hear me, but this is literally one of the absolute worst things I have ever had pastry bakery wise <laughs> because this is the top, like the muffin top and look at it, it just, it crumbles. Like what is that? I don't know. I, it's absolutely awful. <laughs> awful i'm so disappointed so they don't have the coffee cake muffins they replaced it with the blueberry that was a mistake <laughs> but this is gonna be really good Since I work from home, I'll take my laptop on the road with me and get things done anywhere. I also knew that I needed to post my video and respond to a couple of emails before I could totally unplug and enjoy the rest of my day. So that's what I did. I'm, I'm pretty much plugged in always. <laughs> so it's nice to get to just enjoy my surroundings, especially here. And I'm not sure why, but I find Magnolia peaceful and I get inspired with the things that I want to add or tweak up in my own home and if you've ever been a part of my planning live streams you know how important time management is to me and how important that white space can be so I find that when the priority work is done then I can enjoy my white space time even more so work first then play and here at Magnolia Home especially. This is my favorite store almost of all time, even over Pottery Barn when it comes to home decor inspo. I just, it feels good here. I don't know. I just, I love it. I truly do find so much inspiration here and there are all decor styles, whatever you like, I do believe you can find something here because it's eclectic to contemporary, it's rustic farmhouse to Tuscan vibes. It just, it feels good here and it's warm and it's cozy and it smells really good except for the library scent. <laughs> Honestly, that is my least favorite scent ever made, but I like coming here to look at the displays and the pairings and to see how they have set things up, especially things like their table settings, because it's not something that I thrive at, <laughs> but it's something that I like to see inspiration for, so I know what I would want to do in my, my own home. And I don't know like what my design style would be called. I know what I like. I know that I like coziness and a homey feeling. And I love white or lighter uh, colored walls with dark woods and a moody and vibey decor. I like jewel tones with a tropical flair here and there. And I think this, I think that whatever you like, get that. If you see something in a magazine or a storefront, 
I say get it because chances are if you like it or even better, if you love it, it's all going to go together. I think it's more about styling up your decor. That's the biggest challenge for most people. And that's where you do your research and you look for design inspiration. Go to Pinterest. Um, go Come to places like Magnolia Home where you can see in person things that are set up. Pottery Barn is another one of my favorite places. Um, I have a Live Happy Label home page on Instagram. And if you go to the people that I follow there, that is where I get a lot of my inspiration because everybody I follow on my home account, those are all home decor pages. So if you want to know who to follow, where to get inspo, that could be a place that you can start too. And of course, places where you can actually see the displays and how the professionals pair things together, great places to start. So if you collect things that you love and then say you find an inspo picture or you see a styled up space, you can use similar items. And if you don't have the exact piece that's in the inspo pick, use something that's similar in size and shape and coloring. This is how you use an inspo pick and make it your own. And I'm telling you now, that's what makes a house a home. It's any space with the things in it that you and your family love. I started out here in the home store. Number one, it's connected to the coffee shop, but also because it's my favorite. But then I did walk over to Magnolia Market. That's going to be my next video. I'll edit up those clips ASAP and I'll talk a ton less. I promise it'll be a footage dump, if you will, and we'll see which format you guys like the best. So you'll need to make sure that you tell me in the comments in the next video. But real quick, before I log off, I'll show you what I got here at the home store. How beautiful is this magnolia? I love it. And this one here, I only got two because these were 50% off and they only had two. <laughs> I like to buy things in three, but they only had a couple, so I did get those. And then look at this. Oh, just so pretty. This one was $14 and it was 50% uh, off. And don't forget to use your Magnolia perks because you get 10% off of that too. And then this one is $12, so this was six bucks. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you got some decor inspo as well. Next video coming up is a walkthrough of Magnolia Market. I'll show you what I got there. So I'll see you soon. Bye.